So I'm Penny Calcina and I welcome you to this series of Earth Star Radiance and Friends. I am here. This is a real treat today. I'm here in the studio with my friend Dion Gilbert. We are uh, going to be talking with her for the next few minutes about the wonderful, wonderful work that she's doing as a local clay artist. And uh, she has some work here that's in progress and will be sharing that with us too. Dion, thank you so much for letting me come over and film with you and spend some time with you and bring you to the Earth Star Radiance and Friends series. I thank you to be here first. I like to share what I do. And uh, yes, that's my little studio. It's very small, very tiny. We cannot be many people in there like you can see when you try to put the camera in. <laughs> but it's very comfortable. It's um, easy to heat, easy to cool, uh, easy to reach everything around me. So I'm very happy here. Yes, it's a beautiful reflection of you in a way and the way that I know you create and work. Your work is very efficient. The way you approach your work is very, very creative and vast and deep and yet I've watched you work. I've had the opportunity and the pleasure of being in the art studio with you while you're working. And to watch you work, it is very efficient. Um, there's no misuse of time or space or materials. And that's a wonderful gift to bring in such creative, animated work that you do in clay. Oh, thank you. I, I love what I do, though. But uh, right now, with that piece, does it make you think of something? It's um, the tortoise and the hare in a new yeah. little way. <laughs> it's uh, Jean de La Fontaine, who is a French uh, writer, who always have um, tales, fable, yes. think fable with uh, animals. And I know with this one, at least, this one is well known, because in um, Quebec and uh, in France, you know, we we all hear about that if we talk about the wolf and the and the sheep, you know, everybody know the story, but here, not necessarily, or the ant and the cicada. Ah. Everybody know that story very, very well since they are very young, but not here. Here, this one I know is well known. Yes. And I want to work with interaction with animals right now, so that's why I did this one. And. Uh, Another thing I like to do this one, uh, this time, it's working with different clay. So, uh, I the little gray spot you see, it's a clay I dig in Quebec when I where I grew up. Oh. The red part is the clay I dig in Blightwood, and the little yellowish, it's a bitume clay they dig close to Florence. And a little greenish here, it's dig in uh, the Saluda River. <laughs> oh, how wonderful! I really like that, you know, the, to to be able to make a new story with the, even with the material, you know, I work with. Yes. And they all turn it when it's fired. This one is not fired at all, but when it's fired at uh, cone ten, actually a uh, very high temperature, they turn very very different. The grey one turned a very glossy black. The blight wood is a very deep red. Mm. And the, the Saluda River it's a very deep green. It's very, you know, you have to know what they will end up with. So it's really, really different than what you see right now. Ah, so. that's terrific. Now, you have a very particular way of sculpting. Yeah. Uh, something that you've developed over the years, um, and don't let me mis misspeak this for you, but some of that comes from all of your past with costuming and yes. design making, I'm doesn't it? I'm a costume designer, and I really uh, work with my techniques, you know, of uh, building a costume, or I did a lot of mascot and thing, you know, big costume with a lot of shape, big shape and thing like that. And I really um, put all my techniques on, into clay. I work a lot with slab, mm -hmm. and uh, it did work very well for me. And actually, that's the technique I teach because I'm the only one who teach that way. Because actually, it doesn't come from any book. <laughs> <It's> really, <laughs> I really put that technique under the clay, yes. and it's really efficient for me. You know, I end up 
making any shape at all I want to do. And uh, those are aloe, those are pretty thin actually, it's not uh, uh, like the shell here, I made it a little bit thicker than usually, maybe half an inch, because I didn't want to carve it deep, but, you, deep, yes. but usually I work pretty thin. Yes, and you get beautiful shape, and also the expression in the faces of your animals and your reptiles and your amphibians and your bugs yeah. uh, in and all the, that I've seen. The expressions is, is all, you know. Yes. Um, if you want, I want to show you another one where I did want to show you the another kind of interaction between animals. <laughs> <laughs> you know, those are two frogs who are very, very friendly with each other, but you have an an intrusion you know, that I, <laughs> I like, you know, because because of what they do right now and, you know, that thing has nothing to be, to do there, you know, that's what I like. Life happens. That. Life happens and it just, you know, just end up there. So this one, the color are not there at all, it's really raw, it's not fired. No. Yes. And I have another small one. With another kind of interactive piece, you oh, know, it's you beautiful. Really need to to hear the conversation they have. <laughs> yes, yes, so and even the material that they're sitting on has a lot of expression in the way you've created the flow in that. Yeah, I try to walk that way a lot. So I spend a lot of time on my sculpture, but I'm a very fast worker. And actually, that's one of the reasons it works. It's because I work fast. Because you, you cannot build a piece like that slow, slowly. You know, it just doesn't work. Yeah. You cannot spend weeks on a piece like that. It will not work. You cannot assemble. You know, it needs to be done pretty fast. So that's the way I work. It's uh, very efficient. Mm. Yes, it is. I like it. <laughs> and beautifully creative and expressive. Um, Dion, I know that you have a website. Up. Yeah, I do. Yes. It's uh, diangilbert.com or diangilbert.com. <laughs> oh, you said it in American. <laughs> <laughs> so that's D I A N E G I L B E R T dot com. Yeah. People can go on and see. Uh, you have a beautiful gallery. Oh, it's nice. There, no, yes. I'm very happy. Somebody, a good friend, made that website, and uh, I'm very happy of what they did. Yes. I'm very, very happy. Yes, That's you have um, several different categories yeah. there. Um, I have uh, my big pieces because sometimes I work very, very big. Yes. And actually, uh, when I work big, like the camels or the um, turtles, they, they are like puzzles, you know. I assemble them in pieces. Yes. And uh, it's so much easier to transport. And anyway, no way you can do a thing like that and fire it. So it's it worked very well for me. I did develop many tricks to make sure they they move the same way in the kiln because when you, when you fire it, the clay move a lot. So you want to make sure they still fit together. <laughs> yes, you're a wonderful puzzle solver and puzzle creator, magnificent puzzle creator in clay that's yeah. beautiful and very lifelike and um, has such animation to it. Um, I want to give that website again, Dion Gilbert, D-I-A-N-E-G-I-L-B-E-R-T dot com and encourage everyone to go check it out, see your beautiful work, order some of your pieces um, and find out where your shows are coming up as well on your website. Dion, we're out of time. I thank you so much for spending some time with me. Thank and you, let Penny. me come to your gallery, I mean, to come to your studio and spend some time in here with you. It's a fun place to be, a creative I hope you will place. to get back on clay one day. Yes, yes, I do miss it. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you, Penny.